class, it's Professor Streeter, and in this video I'm going to talk about the week one assignments, all of which you can find in the weekly content unit on the D2L site. So the big, the big goal this week is to get to know the D2L site, get to know each other a little bit in the discussion forum, and start reading the books and thinking about what you're reading. So let me uh, go down to the make myself uh, put myself here in the corner again okay so we can see the whole screen this again is the home page for our course and we are going to start by going to the content page taking a little time to load okay there we are so week one and here you've got the dates I consider the week to end on Sunday. Um, so beginning on Tuesday and through Sunday, and then the second week begins on that Monday and runs to the following Sunday. That's how I'm breaking up the weeks for this class. Um, as I mentioned in the navigating the website video, I do have a slideshow here, and each week there will be a slideshow and a video or a series of videos um, with my sort of talking you through the slides. And so here we have the first week introducing basic themes of the course and some slideshows. I've also got a video by uh, another philosopher uh, from a site called Wi-Fi. And this is a short video that raises a question about pleasure. Our first big topic in this course considers questions about value. What is it that we fundamentally value in life? What is it that makes life good? And the initial answer to that question that we'll think about is that pleasure is ultimately what makes life good, or pleasure is ultimately what we fundamentally value. And the, the, the name of that idea is hedonism, right? So a hedonist is someone who believes that at the end of the day, everything we do is for the sake of pleasure, everything that we value and desire is is related in some way to the value of pleasure or the good of pleasure. So the good life is the pleasurable life, the life of pleasure. Um, so here's a video that raises a question about that, right? Is that true? Okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll spend a lot of time um, looking at arguments in this course, defending different ideas. So if it is if, if you are a hedonist, that is to say, if you believe that pleasure is all that really matters, um, someone might ask you why you think that. And that's a moment where they're asking you to defend your point of view or give an argument or give reasons in support of what you believe. And so the question here, is pleasure all that matters, is putting to the hedonist um, a, a kind of an invitation to defend their point of view or to, to, to give an argument in defense of the idea that pleasure is the, is the highest good. Okay, so anyway, here's a, a video that you can watch on that question and it'll help you think about the readings for this week. The second thing to look at here in the uh, week one con uh, assignments is the Class Cafe and I've already got a question from Melina Atik about our, the, the virtual meetings that I'm planning for this course. They are not mandatory. This is an online course, so you're not required to attend the virtual meetings, but I really encourage you to do so. I haven't figured out the schedule yet, um, but I've, I've responded to Melina here and um, starting in week two, so Monday, September 9th, that would be the earliest that I hold a virtual meeting. And I'll try to also hold a meeting on Wednesday, that's September 11th. And we'll, uh, once I see what you say in your student surveys about what times work for you, I'll schedule a, a time on Monday and on Wednesday that fits your schedule. And you can attend one or the other or both. I will record them uh, and I will say more about what these, um, what we'll do during these meetings uh, next week. But it's a chance to have a discussion, to work together on some questions related to the readings, also a chance to develop essay topics or to, to work on your own writing together, so, uh, and just a chance to, to, to talk to me and talk to each other about what we're reading, what we're thinking about. 
really valuable, really useful part of the course, uh, but again, optional. So that's the the one discussion that I have, and I'm I'm inviting you to share a question in the in the class cafe uh, that you get to here. Just a question you have about the syllabus, about the course, about anything. Now, after you um, so let's come back to the to the description of what we're doing uh, this week. So the weekly overview and what we're doing this week. Um, I've, I've shared a video about the books that we're reading, um, and I've shared a video about the weekly tasks and expectations. So make sure to watch those. So again, preparing for this week, you're reading the syllabus. Take the survey. In the survey, you can share any questions or comments you have about the course and uh, share with me your preferred times to meet uh, for the virtual classes. Watch the videos and the slideshow that I just mentioned and uh, uh, share a question in the, in the cafe. I encourage you to get together with me um, individually early in the semester, so schedule office hours. You do that by clicking Calendly here um, in, the, in the weekly content you can also find it in the course information page, and Calendly will take you to my schedule. You can also find my schedule here in the course information unit. Uh, and then the two books, Schaefer Landau's and um, The Fundamentals of Ethics, and read the introduction to that. That's the first 19 pages. And the quiz will be five questions that test your comprehension of the first 19 pages of Schaefer Landau's introduction. Uh, so that The Fundamentals of Ethics is his attempt to introduce and discuss some of the themes in ethics that we'll be considering this semester. And alongside his introductory book, we have a series of readings in another book called The Ethical Life. So uh, for this week, the two readings that we're doing in The Ethical Life, one is by John Stuart Mill. He's a British philosopher from the 1800s, and he is defending the idea of hedonism on pages 11 through 20 there in The Ethical Life. He is defending the idea that the best life is, is the life of pleasure, or that the highest good for human beings is pleasure. Um, he's defending a version of that idea. Robert Nozick is another philosopher, a more contemporary philosopher, who recently died from New York. Um, but he wrote a piece called The Experience Machine, and this is a very short piece in a larger essay about happiness. And he presents the experience machine as a kind of thought experiment in order to get you raising questions about whether pleasure is really the highest good that we're seeking or whether happiness is really um, all that matters to us. Um, and so think about that thought experiment. You'll be able to write about that next week. But both the Mill and the Nozick pieces raise questions about happiness. What is happiness? What does it mean to seek happiness? And is happiness or pleasure the highest good? Is it, is it, is it the, the most fundamental value uh, that, we, that we desire in life? Is it what ultimately makes our lives good? <clears throat> OK, so both of those pieces are raising that question. Um, OK, so in the quiz, Let's just look at that. This is uh, just five questions, and you have a half an hour to answer those five questions. In the future, the quizzes will be a little longer. They'll be more like 10 questions. But this week, I just want to make sure you're understanding how to use the quiz function and um, that you've started reading the introduction to the fundamentals of ethics. So there's five multiple choice questions. You have two chances to take the quiz, and the highest uh, score counts toward your grade. You start the quiz by clicking start, and that will take you directly to the page. Okay, so that's something. Uh, the due date here is Sunday, September eighth. So make sure by the end of the first week of, of classes, you've taken this short quiz. And then the other piece is um, to write a, a short reflection on your ideas about happiness and what it means to say, in your own case, that your life aims at happiness. Okay, so I've given you a prompt here 
Think about the life that you are living. This does not require any reading on your part. I really want you to think about this question on your own. And the writing should be coming from you, your thoughts about your own life and your relationship to happiness. The goal here is to see how you write, how you think, how you define your terms, and, and what you make of this big idea, this big idea about happiness. Okay? So try to picture your life as a path that you've chosen. Think of, think of, think of your life as something you've chosen to live. Uh, and so our, the fundamental question here is, what does it mean to say that your life aims at happiness? Right? Both Mill and other hedonists will say that uh, ultimately everything that we do is for the sake of happiness. Okay, so let's take that as our starting point. Well, what does that really mean? What does it mean to say that everything in your life aims at happiness or is, 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 is in some, some way of trying to, um, uh, a, a way of trying to achieve happiness or, or uh, increase levels of happiness in your life or in the lives of others? <clears throat> so consider an analogy with an archer shooting an arrow, right? and the target, right? You're shooting an arrow at a target. So think of your life as aiming at happiness, the way an arrow aims at its target, okay? What I'd like you to do then when you think about that is write a story and explain that story, a story about your own experience that answers that question, right? A story about your, your life and how you live your life that answers the question, what does it mean to say your life aims at happiness? Um, so the, the story you tell should illustrate in some concrete way, how you structure or how you organize your life in pursuit of happiness or whatever you call happiness. And then think about the story you've, you've told. And in the second paragraph, define as best you can what you mean by happiness. How is the concept of happiness uh, working in your story? What, what is the concept of happiness that you are using in your story? So try to explain that concept as much as you can with as many examples and details as you can. Okay, so that's your first writing assignment, uh, really just coming from you. I want to see your point of view, your perspective, how you think. Aim for about 300, 500 words. Think about paragraph structure, okay? So there should be a, an introduction where you tell the story and then um, a paragraph in which you draw out some of the implications of that story and what it tells us about happiness. Um, again, these are just guidelines for thinking about your the format of your writing. Uh, it's easier for me to look at it and read it and 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 and, and comment on it if it's double spaced in a, in a, in, a, in a eleven or twelve point font. Uh, this is not an assignment that requires sources, but I'm just reminding you that if you do use sources, you have to include a citation and a bibliographic reference. And I've included a, a link to the citation guide at the PSC library here. Um, if you have questions about how to use citations, especially for future assignments. But for this one, I just want to see like from the heart uh, and from your own experience, what you think about happiness and how you live your life in pursuit of it. Okay, so that's the first writing assignment. Um, and then uh, the quiz. I've also got here some online readings. So um, these are things that uh, I can say more about. But uh, this is the Nozick Experience Machine text. If you still don't have the book, I have some of the readings available here. Uh, some the Mills uh, chapter on, on, on happiness is contained here in, in a larger uh, book called Utilitarianism. So you could read the first two chapters of what utilitarianism is. If you're interested in reading more Mill, here it is. You can read the whole chapter on utilitarianism and Mill's ideas about happiness. Um, here is a video about hedonism and the experience machine that I showed you earlier. An idea to submission and, and whoops, empower students whoops, to do their sorry. best work with Sorry, I've already shown you that. Uh, and then um, two essays, one about the prison reform, an argument to end what, what is called legal slavery in the United States. So this is an, 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 an argument in defense of prison reform. And here's an interesting essay about freedom, what it means to live a life of freedom. Okay, so uh, those are the essays that I've, uh, the extra readings for you to, to look at. And uh, some of the uh, assigned readings here are, are in case you don't have your books yet. But it's very important to get your books this week. That's the, the biggest thing. Um, okay. Uh,
that's what that those are the assignments for the first week the last thing to, to show you is for some reason not showing up in the student view because I haven't opened it is the uh, discussion and here um, I've asked you and I'll make this available I've asked you to introduce yourself okay so um, this is the very last thing I'll, I'll talk about in this video so in the weekly content week one you'll see a link to this but you can also find all discussions by going to the discussion menu at the top you can also find quizzes by going to the quiz menu at the top okay and any assignments that you're turning in so the personal reflection you can find uh, a link to it in the assignments menu at the top okay so they're they're in the content menu but they're also in the assignments menu same with discussions so here's the class cafe a description of that forum the other forum is weekly feedback okay and um, I'll say more about this in the next video but each week there will be um, a, a discussion forum with questions from me a prompt but also on Tuesday, I'd like you to post a, a comment about the reading or qu any question that you have about the reading. Post, you know, by before Wednesday, before we, we have our virtual classes on Wednesday so that I can see what your questions and your comments are. And then by the end of the week, um, you post a, a response to my prompt and reply to one of your classmates. Okay, so for this week, all I want to see is that you introduce yourself for the first week. So I, I, an introduction, so we can start getting to know each other. And then respond to one of your classmates' introductions by the end of the week. Okay, so that's that's due on Sunday. In, 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 in week two, there will be uh, more of a prompt related to the readings. But again, starting in week two, I'd like you to go into the discussion each week and post a question or a comment that you have about the readings okay you can wait till week two for that but for so for week one you're just going to introduce yourself here in the class introductions discussion okay and um, as you can see that is uh, here as well in the weekly content um, class introduction okay once i open it up it'll appear for you too so you can click it directly here and there it is Okay, and you post as you would in the class cafe. It's the same system. Um, okay, so if you have questions about any of that, about the readings for the week, the uh, the slideshow and videos that I've shared with you, the discussions that the class introduction discussion, the personal reflection assignment, and what I'm looking for. Um, or, or the quiz. If you're having any questions or issues about the quiz function and how to access the quiz, please send me an email. Uh, reach out to me. We can meet uh, on Google Meet. We can meet here physically on campus. Um, okay, so I've shared my office hours and my Calendly in the other video, but again, you can you can find it in the weekly, sorry, in the course information uh, unit. All right, hope that's helpful and uh, more soon.